everybody, I am SimSweetie, and welcome to part two of Let's Play The Sims 3 Showtime. So, in this part, I think they're just going to go perform for some tips. They're all up pretty early because they went to bed pretty early last night. And Mila, put clothes on, please, darling. Mila, stop. Stop. Put clothes on, please. Oh, whatever, she's going to eat naked. Perfect. Okay. So, this is May Sleeper, and I love it, so I want to show you guys it. Don't you look cute with no makeup on? I think she looks so adorable, and I love her hair up in a bun and cozy sweater. I, I really liked her sleeper, so that's why I wanted to show you guys it. And here's your picture from the last part. How cute. So, we're going to have her watch some TV because Hudson actually has to go on and get into the shower so he can go perform for some tips. I think he... Oh, I have my music on. Hold on, guys. There we go. And a lot of you guys weren't really loving the backstory, but I think that once you start to get to know these sims, you'll start liking it more and more. So we're going to go to Del Mar Beach with him, I think, and he'll perform for some tips there as a magician. Of course, that's what he works at. And Mila, I think we are going to send her to the gym to work out a little bit and I believe the gym is right here it's the wait and see rec center and I don't think anyone's in the bathroom right now maybe oh nope your boyfriend's still in there so let's just wait for him to get on out of the shower okay there you go shower a little bit and the summer festival has arrived so it's a good thing she wants to go over there. Do we actually have our newspaper yet? We don't. I wanted to check for when the Sim Fest was going to be. Well, I guess I'll just have her hang at home until we get the newspaper, which I believe is around 10. So after that, she'll eat some cereal. And she's like totally singing in the shower. Girl. Girl, do we get bills? Oh, we got some mail. Who's that from? I would love to know. My voice kind of cracked, but that was a little weird. Just a little bit weird, and we can actually sell this. Oh, we were hired to perform a sangram. That's really cool. So we're going to have to do that. But you, probably not the best idea to relax. I think you're going to work a little bit. And why are you not relaxing on the beach? Like, you're going to relax up here for no reason. So I think we're going to, where should we perform for some tips? Let's just do it on the beach, right here. So he's going to not relax. No. Please get up. Stop. Stop. Okay, go over here. And we have to perform a congratulations singagram, but we'll do that in a moment. So let's have him perform for some tips. And apparently he has to walk over here to do it, but that's okay with me. So I don't know if he's going to have to change his outfit. Oh my goodness, he looks like a little clown. We're going to have to customize this outfit, but here's him performing for some tips. Oh, it's not going too well. Oh, he's embarrassed from his public failure. That stinks. And he's getting some job experience in that, so... Let's go back to May, and we got a love letter from Danielle, and we have to do this. Oh my goodness, Danielle, put some clothes on, or Danielle, May, what am I talking about? Okay, actually, let's she change into your career outfit, so I think this is going to be her singagram outfit. And I think someone left the TV on. Nope, I'm just crazy. Okay. Oh, she fell in a treadmill. Okay, let's go perform our job. This is what her little singagram outfit looks like. So we have to congratulate Chad with a singagram. Okay, May is on a treadmill right now. Do you know what it do? But I think Chad might be here, actually, because... Um, it said we had to congratulate him on a workout, so I kind of want to see what Chad looks like. This is Mitch. Does Mitch look good? 
He's not too ugly. I mean, he's not that cute like that either. But we're going to go talk to him. Say hi. Get to know the locals a little bit. It seems like he's kind of athletic too. So I think we could really hit it off. I don't even know how old he is, but we can always ask him about his age and find that out pretty easily. Stop running away from us. This is richer steel. Oh, they're attracted to each other. I like that. <clears throat> yeah, he looks kind of old. Oh, he looks kind of old too, though. He's not that good looking. Uh, I don't know. Keep him in mind. Ask about his age. Ask about his career. Ask about his sign. Ask if he's single. And then just get to know a little bit. Actually, we won't get to know. We'll just do those things. Oh, we I missed her performing a singogram. Whatever, I'll show you the next one. So, after that, I want her to come over here and do some chin-ups. So it says, though you'll likely, likely never admit it, once you've made it big, you just performed a singogram. Nice job increasing, or er, nice job earning some simoleons and increasing your singing skill. Um, he's not that good looking, so. Don't think we're gonna get with him either. Okay, now it looks like there's no more singograms at this time, so let's go to the summer festival and perform for some tips. Hudson, oh, he's, like, constantly being embarrassed because he's not very good at this exactly. And this guy is nine days older than us. And there's some guy called Isaac watching us right now. Oh, he seems quite quizzical. You know. He's not doing too well with these tricks, but I'm sure he'll get better. Oh, look, he succeeded. That's great. He must have impressed Isaac. That's... That's really cool. I don't think we've made any money yet, or we might have, but let's go see May. I think she's here. So, this is what the summer festival in, I forget the world we're in, Starlight Shores? Yes, yeah, Starlight Shores looks like, who's this? Priscilla Singh. You got any hot brothers? I'm just kidding. Um, and this is... Uh, Mercedes May. Let's go introduce ourselves to Mercedes. She's pretty. Pretty pretty. She's quite pretty. And then, yeah, that should be good. And then we'll perform for some tips, I guess. And this is our propeteer. Eventually, we should be able to audition for gigs, but since we're only on level one, we have to wait a little bit. So let's just go ahead and perform for tips. And Mila gasped, gasped, grasped, grasped the basics of athletics. So she's over here singing her heart out, but I want to show you Mila right now. So the chin-up bar, I think that's what this is called anyway, it did come with Showtime. So basically it's just another way to work out so you can just do this and they fall a lot in the beginning and they just struggle to do chin-ups on this bar. Okay, over to May. She, like I said, is totally singing her heart out right now. So it's similar to the magician performing, but it's very loud. But um, obviously she's singing and not performing magic tricks. So this should be in performing, performing, improving our performance skill, and eventually she'll be able to perform on the stage, which is super, super, super cool. Hudson, I think he should be doing pretty good. Yes, I'm gonna let them do this for a little bit longer. They're all kind of occupied right now, but you know we can watch them. Okay, she now has a level two athletic skill. I think this should be helping her out a little bit. Yes, it is in fact helping her out. She wants to watch a wild horse. That's nice. Oh, we have another singogram to do. So, we're going to do this for a little bit longer until like 3. Or maybe 2.30. Annabelle Gooder just finished a great workout. Congratulate her with a... Yeah, congratulate her for her dedication with a celebration singogram. Okay, we're going to stop this for now and we're going to go perform our job. She now has a level 3 athletic skill. Okay, you can stop now, girl. 
Well, she's going to make her way over there. And it looks like Hudson's done for the day. He's ordering some fish and chips to eat. Well, maybe he's not done for the day, but he's done for the minute. And since he has a social butterfly, his social is already pretty low and may earn 22 simoleons in tips. That's great. I like saying that. I don't even know. So why don't we go ahead and talk with someone. Let's go talk with Yolanda Lemon. Let's give her a friendly introduction because our social is so incredibly low. Because, like I said, he's a social butterfly. His social's going to go down a lot lower than most sim social would. Oh, don't go use the bathroom. Just please sing your singogram. Are we still at the summer festival? I think we are. Where is the sim we have to promo? Oh, she's at the art gallery, which I actually customized into basically being a restaurant, too. So it's really cool. I'll show it to you when we're over there. But we good for now. So... I'd recommend you talking to her, unless she left you in the dust. Oh, she did. Okay. We'll just go use the bathroom, then. Use, uh, and then, uh, why don't you talk to this guy? I know he's a waiter. Go ahead and talk to Yolanda. We're just gonna give her a friendly introduction. What can you do that's a musician? Pull coin from ear! Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to do this. Can't keep an eye on her. Okay, she's there, so. so, so. You gonna do it? Okay, you know, you're gonna wait a second to do this. Till we can jump on over there. So here is the celebration singogram, which we missed the first time, but that's totally okay. Making a total fool of herself. So, there you go. That is great. So, again, she got a little bit more job experience. But, as you can probably tell, I did go ahead and give a little tiny makeover. So, basically what I did to this top floor was I just added a restaurant area. So, you could go and order food here, which I think is pretty cool. But since she is here, we're going to have her perform for tips. Okay, Hudson, you are still using the bathroom. Goodness sakes, what is taking you so long? Oh, we haven't... Oh my gosh, never mind. We have another celebration singer to do. I don't think I'll show you this one because we're a little bit busy right now. But let's pull a coin from her ear. From her ear? Yeah. Real? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he succeeded! That's awesome. I was so afraid he was going to, like, totally fail. But no, he did good. And let's go ahead and ask about her age, just to get her social up. Sorry if you could hear my elbow rubbing against the table. Ask her sign. Ask her gender preferences. Ask about her alma mater. And we don't really care that much, so that should probably be good. Okay, we're over here to sing for this guy. And then I think maybe she'll go to a bar we haven't been to yet. She is 31 days older than us. And I think I want... I, I can't speak English suddenly. I forgot what I was going to say. And then I was like, going to say, I forgot what I was going to say. But then I couldn't say that. And I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But, um... <laughs> I think I want Mila to kind of be like a DJ too on the side. So I think the Porta Party Warehouse has a DJ booth. Pretty sure it does. I am like fairly certain. Yes, it does. It's right there. And apparently I didn't get rid of that juice bar, but I did add a professional bar down there. So after that, I think that we're going to send Mila and actually everybody will just go down there. Spend a little bit of time. Just finish that interaction and then leave. And yeah. So she performed that singing gram too. They're all doing pretty good. They might get a promotion in the next part because they're all... Wow, look at her. She's really close to getting a promotion. 
Why don't you just... Why have you not gotten a promotion yet, actually? Like, you're seriously extremely close. Why don't you change into your formal wear? Because, you know, we're a DJ. We've got to be cool like that. And her formal wear did, in fact, come with Showtime. So I'm excited to show you guys that. But she's going to come up here and play some dubstep. Oh, my goodness. We have a, another singer grand to perform. We're going to do that. Another celebration singer to Chad Luck, who may or may not... Oh, didn't we already sing you a singer -gram? Maybe not, but I feel like we did. No, we... Did we? No? Maybe? I don't know. But the DJ, it's kind of like a career, kind of not, came with Showtime, so they can just come on over here and DJ in the DJ booth. We'll have to buy her a DJ booth, because we have some money right now to afford it. But her dress did come with Showtime. Like I said, most of their outfits came with Showtime, so yes. She's just going to load this truck in there. And she looks awesome. She looks sweet. Yes, she does. Okay, let's turn on the music. Can we see you? Why'd you stop? Play some bub step, girl. Mila has a better understanding of the complex decisions that professional DJs face. She can only hope the song she chose was the right one. She looks like so legit. She's like, I know what I'm doing, I totally do. Why do you keep stopping? Play some dubstep, play some dubstep. Is it because she's hungry? I think it's because she's hungry. Okay, now maybe you can come on over here. Why does she keep stopping? Play a random genre. Oh my goodness, we have another one. Just perform that. Well, I think I'm going to work on that a little bit more later. Why doesn't she perform for some tips while she's here? I feel like that's all we are doing in this part. But let's mime... Oh, we can't perform for tips yet. Let's mime pulling a rope because she starts off as pretty much a mime. Oh my goodness, look at her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, she got her promotion! It's the first Simmons household to be promoted. That's pretty cool. So it says, Congratulations! Mila has been conferred to the new title of Novice Juggler by the Starlight Shores Town Council in recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce. Now that you've mastered the art of mime, you're ready to juggle a few more tricks into your act. Mila now makes 340 simoleons per week. So since she's here, maybe she'll see who else is here. You know? You feel me? I kind of like Brandon. I think we looked at him on the online dating website and he wasn't that great, but I kind of want to check him out. And it looks like there's a performance going on right now, which is kind of cool. Wow, why did you just make 11,000 simoleons? This is Steve Cup. I really... Let's go introduce ourselves to Steve. And uh, I kind of want to turn off the music, but I kind of want to leave it on. Where is it coming from? Just so I can change the volume to low. I don't even know. That kind of rhymed. <gasps> They're talking to each other! Why don't you go ahead, ask about his age, ask about his career, ask about his alma mater, Ask his sign and ask if he is in fact single. So apparently they have a lot in common. That's really cool. Okay, um, I think you're just gonna go home. Oh, he's 32 days older than us. I think that's a deal breaker, but because that's like that's a lot older. Yeah, that's like practically an elder and a little too old for us. He's in the magician career. And why are you in the parking lot talking to a child? Can you pull a coin from her ear? That would be so cute. <gasps> be, oh my gosh. Chad! <laughs> whatever. We're going to do this just because I want a promotion. So whatever. And we're almost there. So this might just put us over the edge to get one. 
Make Alora all excited. Put a little coin from her ear. Could you imagine? Alora could be a future magician. Oh yeah, so make sure you don't mess this up. Oh, we're being awkward. Did he mess it up? No! Hudson, you're so stupid. No! Great, you just ruined Alora's life. She's not going to believe in magic. Great job, Hudson. Go home. Just go on home. Go on home. He's kind of close to getting a promotion. Before he goes home, why doesn't he just... Do one into flowers, and maybe if he succeeds, Alora will feel a little bit better. Even though I think Alora is like out of here, but oh, he did not fail. Good job, Hudson. Well, I liked Steve, but I feel like he's just a little too old for us. So unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to pass. And we have a tourist here checking out the sights. Two tourists actually. Alrighty. Can we? Oh, we can audition for an acrobat gig. While we're here, why don't we do that? Actually, it's a little too late. Let's not do it in this... Well, I don't know. Eh, let's not do it in this part. Yeah, you're here. Why don't you get some food? I think... Did I put in any ice cream machines or anything in here? I didn't. Okay, well, then just go ahead. Order some food. Order a single serving of a shrimp cocktail. Oops. Whoops, stop. Okay, we're gonna perform this. And then we're going to be done for the day. Can you not? Perform your job, please. Chad's had like four cigarettes. Thank you very much. So then we're gonna go on home. And we've gotta be really close. Yes, we are so, so close to getting promoted. And it looks like Hudson. Have I been calling him Liam? I don't even know. I don't. I don't know. Hudson is sleeping right now, and the girls are on their way home. She wants to audition for a gig. We'll have to do that. Oh, I don't want to cancel any of these out. I really don't. Whatever. Okay, guys. So it looks like Mila's home and we should have gotten the newspaper definitely by now. So why don't you check the weekly events so we can see when the next Sim Fest is so we can go ahead and attend that. Leisure Day is approaching. Okay, one will be held on Tuesday at 8 a.m. Apparently, that was this morning, huh? Oh well. And there'll be another one at Thursday at 12 p.m. Okay, we'll have to remember to go. And there's a pet show competition, but we don't have any pets, so that does not apply to us. Let me see how long this part is, and then I will be back. I am going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, they will definitely perform for some tips and maybe even audition for a gig. We will have to see. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure to subscribe, and yeah, bye!